Now that we've learned how to draw straight lines, the next thing we need to learn is how to draw curves. I'll show you an easy way to draw a curved line between any two points. Last time, we learned about drawing lines following a ratio. When drawing curves, we still follow these ratios, except we alter them over time. Let's take a look. Remember, a 0 to 1 ratio will give us a straight up and down line. A 1 to 2 ratio will give us a line like this. And a 1 to 3 ratio will give us a line like this. We can go even further with a 1 to 4 ratio. And finally, I'll put a 1 to 1 ratio over here. What we want to do is use segments of these lines to gradually curve where we want to go. If you look at the lines, the 1 to 4 line is closest in angle to the 0 to 1 line. Let me erase these real quick. Now, I'll start with a 4 pixel line here. Move to the right and up 1 pixel and put 3 pixels going up. Move up and to the right by 1 pixel and place 2 pixels. Up and to the right and place 1 pixel. This is half of our curve. Notice how the line curves as the length of each segment decreases. 4, 3, 2, 1. At this point, we change directions and start using the inverse ratio, 2 to 1, placing 2 pixels to the right, then up and to the right and place 3 pixels. Up and to the right, place 4 pixels. This is probably one of the easiest curves you could draw since it's so even but you can see the concept. We start with a straight line of 4 pixels. The next line we draw is a little shorter, 3 pixels. The next line, 2 pixels, then 1 pixel. The important thing to remember is consistency. If I draw another curve and randomly choose the length of each segment, the curve looks bad. This isn't a smooth curve, it's more jagged. Make sure to progress evenly. Don't jump from placing 3 pixels to 1 pixel, then 5 pixels, and then 2. Keep a consistent pattern. 4, 3, 2, 1. You can draw curves with more segments, just make sure you place them in a consistent pattern. I'll make the canvas bigger. I'll set it to 64 by 64. and I'll switch to another color for the next part of the curve. I'll continue this line by another 4 pixels, but for the next segment, let's place another 4 pixels, then another 4 pixels. Now, we'll move to 3 pixel segments, and I'll place 2 of them. Then we'll move on to 2 pixel segments, and we'll place 2 of those. If we keep going, the segment will be 1 pixel long. I'll place three one pixel segments, and then we can mirror what we've done so far. Two segments of two pixels, two segments with three pixels, and three segments with four pixels. Notice we didn't place an equal amount of each segment, but we did follow a consistent pattern. We never increased or decreased a segment by more than one pixel. Now you can do this on a larger scale, and make sure each line increases or decreases by two pixels or three pixels. As long as you are consistent, the curve will look correct. One thing to be aware of is the problem of placing a single pixel. A single pixel placed on a curve often looks like a sharp point, not like part of a curve. Let me show you what I mean. If I draw a curve, with 4 pixels, 4 pixels, 3 pixels, 3 pixels, 2 pixels, then 1 pixel. And mirror the curve.
you can kind of see what I'm talking about, even on the canvas. But take a look at the actual size over here. That one pixel looks like a sharp point, not a curve. Look at the difference between the one pixel peak and the two pixel peak here. Even two pixels looks a little sharp, but it looks much more like a curve than the one pixel peak. You'll notice that I used a single pixel here, but it doesn't look like an edge. It still looks curved. That's because this pixel is inside of the curve. By that, I mean that the ratio reverses after this pixel. We go from 1 to 2, to 1 to 1, and finally to 2 to 1. The ratio reverses. On the other hand, over here, we go from a 2 to 1 ratio, to a 1 to 1 ratio, and back to a 2 to 1 ratio. That causes the pixel to be on the outside of the curve. If I erase the second half of the curve, and redraw using the opposite ratio, that single pixel looks fine. There's no magic formula that will get you a perfect curve from any two points, but by using these techniques, consistently following a pattern, and avoiding placing single pixels, you can create perfect curves between any two points. Just keep practicing with them, and soon you'll be drawing curves like second nature. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Comment, like, and share this video, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you next time.